Of course, they've been grabbing the headlines and the signings that they've made over the summer. Uh, you wanted a new goalkeeper and you got one. Yes, and he was, um, I think he's arguably one of the best around. I know people talk about Manuel Neuer, but the fact that you know, Liverpool went out and spent that money to bring him in. I think it just calms a lot of the fans' nerves. Unfortunately, after the Champions League final, I think Carius was always going to be struggling for Liverpool. He had a difficult pre-season. There was a lot of criticism from him from the stands, a lot of ironic cheers when he caught the ball. And um, Jürgen Klopp had to go out and get a goalkeeper, and he's gone and, he's gone and bought a really good one. I think he tried to, he was interested in, in Old Black as well, but he was, um, they wanted too much money for him at Atletico Madrid. And the fact that he's gone and got the person that he wanted, and he was always being muted that Liverpool wanted this goalkeeper. The fact that they've gone and got him, I think, is a big signing, a really big signing. And it says a lot about what Jürgen Klopp wants this year. Have they taken over Manchester United now as the title challengers, in your opinion, Maka? Hmm. Well, I think so, mate. I think if you... We, we all know that the next 10 days is going to be madness in the, in, in the Premier League, don't we? Um, but the fact that it, Liverpool have done their signings early, they brought the type of players in, and the, coupled with the fact that Manchester United have only bought Freds, Chelsea have been in disarray and bought Jorginho in, you know, Tottenham, and with all respect, Arsenal haven't bought... I know Tottenham haven't brought anybody in. Arsenal have brought a few players in, a different type of player than, than Arsene Wenger would, would have brought in, but Unai Emery's brought in. I just think I see Liverpool, who have done the best business in this transfer window. That's why you can see them usurp Manchester United, but we well know that, of course, they, United, City, everybody will probably buy a lot of players now until the dead, deadline day on, on August the 9th. Do you think Manchester United finish in the top four, Macker? I think I read somewhere that you didn't have them finishing in the Champions of League. Of course spot. not. Yeah, oh, this is completely objective. Of course yeah? not, mate. You know, you know, I never picked Manchester United in the top four. That's a ridiculous suggestion. Of course, I'm having them out of the Champions League spots. So this is nothing they to do. Very. With... I hope they really struggle. Nothing to do with professionalism. <laughs> this is all down to your rivalry with United. Despite the fact they're third favourites, despite the fact they finished second last season, uh, you can't give me a solid reason but for your hatred Listen, for them. It's, it's got, it's got nothing to do with my with my rivalry. It's it's my immaculate and accurate predictions. I predict they'll be out of the top four this year. That's all. It's not to do with my, oh, my no. rivalry and my dislike for them. <laughs> Marco, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure to Steve about this. Where, where do you stand with regards to success for Liverpool? He, I, he was saying he'd prefer them to finish second, so, really push City, as opposed to, for example, finishing third, but winning the FA Cup as well. Um, I would personally... Uh, like them to win some silverware this year. I think until they win silverware, there'll be questions about Jurgen Klopp because of his records with Dortmund and his record in cup competitions. And I know, I know what Stevie really means, but I, I personally would prefer them to win a trophy. I know they went to Basel a couple of years ago in the Europa League and lost, and they had the Champions League defeat on the hands of late. I would personally like to see them win a trophy.